Hi, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to create a to-do list template in the project. Okay, so now, let's get started. I will open the Excel. Okay, and here I will create some of the column for this. And I will have, the first one, I will have a to-do list. And I have project. For example, I have project is website development for ABC. Okay. And I have some the number, the task, the status, the priority. And do this. The next column will be the owner, owner, and the last one will be node. Okay. I might make it bigger. So for the number, I will have around ten. Okay. I make the number e center alignment. Okay. So here for the task column, I will increase the width. Okay. For the nose, I will also increase increase this one. Okay. I will select on and I will select option E wrap tag. Okay. Merge this column. I see this row. Merge this row. Oh, no, no. Project information. No, no. Project. Okay. Okay. I select all and will alignment is the middle align for all of the data in the row okay I will have a to do list okay and here for the status I will create a lead lead you have a column st is status and the second one will be the priority because here I want to create a drop down list here for status and another one drop down list for priority so I will create the list of data in this file we have priority okay so here for status I will have some data is first one is open second in progress the task is ready for review uh, completed complete and the last one will be on hold okay priority I will have a high uh, number and low okay okay and for to do list I back to this one yeah I will increase the width for status and priority column okay I will select the row C5 and I navigate to the tab data okay i click on the data validation in data tool group okay and in the setting i will select option in the allow e the lead okay so here i will select the source of the data click on this one and then i will select the lead i select it here 
Oke. Okay. I close this. Lead. Close this one. Yeah. So you see here the drop drop down list has been displayed. Yeah. It contain all of the data here. Okay. I will do the copy this format for all of the cell here from C five to C fourteen. Okay. I select this one and the to drop and drop it. Okay. It copy. I do the same thing with priority column, data validation, and the list. I will select it here. The list. No, no. Okay. Okay. Copy it for own, own thing. I will increase the size for new desk and also the owner. Okay. For the new desk, I will make the home. I will do the format for it in the short date time. Okay. And then you can copy it for other cell. For the owner, okay. The owner, I will have. I, we can enter the name of the owner directly, directly to this or we can even create a list here okay for the notes it will be free tag okay so now here I will do some the formatting for this table I select all of the column here with the row from 1 to 10 okay and then I will have a format at a table in the style. Yeah, you can select the format here with preview. Okay, select this one. I save it to the data to do lead templates v version e one zero point one okay we can also do the formatting for the project information on the top I will do is e find the color for this one in the Y yeah We can also increase the form size for this one. To do this template. Okay, so here I'm going to enter some data for testing. Yeah. The first one will be the project pre pre for project planning okay require requirement gathering define project scope res wbs Okay. Three years project. Communication plan. Three years project pro. Okay, something like this. Okay. 
Okay, so here I would have some status. By default, it would be open. I can do copy the same for own here. The priority, the, this one should be high. This one you should be normal. But this is very high. Normal. High. 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 High and normal. Okay. New badge. For example, we, uh, first observe May. Okay. Copy it. Can we? Can we? Yes. Okay, and here we have some note. Need to work as by something like this. Okay, save it. Oh, okay, we can change the status for this one. Complete. Complete. Okay. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to create a to-do list template for the project. Okay. And of course, beyond this one, it will be a very basic list. So you can do some customization for the project. Okay. I hope this video will have fun for you. If you think it is useful, please let me know and like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye and see you guys in the next video.